What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net, and we are inside of SQL Server 2012. And uh, I'm over here, I'm not actually designing a new database, but I'm doing some tests to sort of get used to the way that the new system runs, because I'm used to running SQL Server 2005 and have been running that for, holy cow, since about 2009. So anyway, 2012, I just installed about a month or so ago. This is one of the things that I found. If you go in here uh, to an existing table, so let's just close this, not to save changes. Now let's go back over here and let's um, open up the table in design view. And what we're gonna do is that we're going to come over here and we're gonna add info uh, bar character, leave it at 50. Okay, so when we come to save, we get this dialog box. Save changes is not permitted. The changes you have made require the following tables to be dropped and recreated. You have either made changes to a table that can't be recreated or enabled the option prevents saving changes that require the table to be recreated. Got tongue tied there. Okay, so anyway, what you can do is either drop the table, recreate it, then save it. So anyway, what you do is come over here to Tools, Options, and then you come down here to Designer and click on Table and Database Design. And right here, Prevent Saving Changes that Require table recreation uncheck that click ok and now we can save it without having to worry about dropping the table okay wayne baron here with darkfix.net inside of sql server 2012 y'all have a good one now bye bye